Coming up, first encounters with camels. He just spat his vomit on me. Freak rainstorms in the desert. I don't think it can get worse than this. There's something there. And spooked in the wild. I nearly had a heart attack. London's Heathrow Airport and the Sirius Desert team prepare to leave their families for more than three weeks. Watch the sun on your ears. <laughs> the eight adventurers have been chosen from over 6,000 applicants for an extreme expedition. They're travelling 5,000 miles to the southern African country of Namibia. A huge desert stretches down the west of the country and that's where the team are heading. It takes another two days driving through a vast wilderness to reach a remote desert region. Their mission is to help the endangered black rhino. Only 3,000 are left in the wild and just 150 live in the hostile Namibian desert. It's these special desert rhinos they'll be helping save from extinction. For the last leg of the journey, they finally hit the sand. <laughs> they want to get to their desert training camp by sunset, but there's some freak weather on the way. Areas bone dry for years are turning into rivers. It's our first day in the desert and of course it had to rain. The convoy is getting bogged down. As night falls, there's no end in sight to their marathon journey. It's quite exciting, but I could do without it. You know, it'd just be nice to get the base camp. Four hours later than planned, they're finally approaching camp when they hit a last major obstacle, a huge, fast-flowing river. Not what expedition leader Bruce Parry expected. I drove out to meet the group earlier this morning and this place was absolutely bone dry and now it's absolute raging torrent. This is very dangerous because it's night, it's still raining upriver and so the water's, um, the water's getting higher. The vehicles can go no further. Bruce and assistant leader Emma J check out whether they can wade through the torrent instead. Emma and I have had a look at it and we've both walked across and it's fine. And we can do it but we have to move quick. Is that cool? I'm a bit frightened, but there's plenty of people around, so I think I'm going to be all right, but I'm not sure. With the current getting stronger by the minute, Bruce enlists some local help. OK, and these two big boys here, they're going to look after the both of us, yeah? And as we go across, it's going to be quite strong on your legs, but don't worry, because even if you trip, we've got you. They're taken out into the swollen river one by one. Without the support team, a person could be swept away in seconds. David is strong, but still loses his footing several times. I thought it was going to be a bit of a doddle, but um, when we got into the middle, the sand sort of gave way and went down a bit. Despite the dangers, they find it quite an adventure. Pretty strong current, and it's like... I was scared before I'd done it, but I wasn't scared when I was doing it, because I had, like, three strong men with me. At first, I was a bit frightened, but when I went and was going across it, it, it's not that bad, actually, and the water's quite warm. You expect the water to be freezing. It's quite warm. Everyone makes it across safely, and at last they can head into camp, where the accommodation comes as a bit of a surprise. These are like traditional cow dung huts, uh. <laughs> yeah, and uh, this is where you're going to be staying. What do you think? It's quite cool, it's actually. <laughs> Something just flew on me. <laughs> <laughs> Promise is not looking forward to sleeping here. There's bugs in the roof and it's like, and as soon as I walked in, it just fell on me. It's like, uh, uh. But there are much bigger creatures to worry about. This place has got a whole bunch of elephants in the area and there are also two lion that we know of that are just like last seen two kilometers up the way. So the rules that we have 
team is that nobody leaves the huts at night. Not even to go to the um, toilet. Guess what this is for? Basically, yeah. Just for the normal conveniences of the night, this is what's going to help you get through. Holly. What if you need a poo? <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you need a poo, then you're just going to have to wake us up, yeah? For us, Shame. yeah, it's going to be so hard. It's going to stink after. <laughs> Each night, the team will get the chance to record a video diary, and Holly is already finding things really tough. 20 past 12, and we haven't even had our dinner yet, so I'm feeling, like, really homesick. I don't know, I'm just a bit stressed out at the moment. Morning, guys. How are you all? <laughs> It was comfy enough, it really was. I was just so tired. As soon as you fell asleep, it really didn't matter. Could have been sleeping on stools, wouldn't have noticed. Oh, my back's a bit hurting me. Just makes you appreciate a bed and a pillow. For the first time, they see their stunning surroundings in a mountainous part of the desert. It's absolutely amazing. I didn't really think there would be so many rocky hills. It now actually looks like a desert. Holly's not feeling too well this morning. I feel sick. And things are really starting to get on top of her. I didn't even like it yet. Do you want to go and have a check quite a while over there in the corner somewhere? Emma decides she urgently needs a heart to heart chat. Just, just like really, really feeling sick already. The most I've only been away from my parents is like three days. Yes, this is huge, isn't it? You, feel, you suddenly feel like you are absolutely miles away. She's going to have to get over her homesickness quickly if she's to cope with the main expedition. Their final destination is Namibia's infamous Skeleton Coast, so named because few people shipwrecked here have lived to tell the tale. To reach it, they'll have to walk more than 50 miles across the world's oldest desert. It's an extreme and dangerous place, and the team will need some serious survival training. It's going to be tough. I'm not making any pretenses. It's really going to be tough. But I think we can do it. First lesson, dangerous creatures. Look at this wee boy. Check that out. Is that a scorpion? Whoa, 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 whoa. No. OK, these things here, just don't come near them, yeah? Now, often the ones with the smaller pincers are the ones with the nastiest sting. I'm a bit frightened of them. I don't want them, I don't want them to come anywhere near me. There are also around 20 types of snake in the desert. Oh, God. Always, 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 any time you've got anything out, never leave it lying on the floor, put it straight back into your bag, zip it up, because things will crawl in. If it gets into my sleeping bag, then there's nowhere to go and nowhere to escape, and that would freak me out pretty badly then. <laughs> But there's a more immediate concern. It's raining again in the desert. Let's jog back, everyone. We don't want to get wet, yeah? Come on. I'm a bit disappointed, like. Thought it was going to be a nice day when we woke up. I was sweating in my sleeping bag. Seeing the sun, nah, it's going to be a good day. And then we went out and it's absolutely lashed it down. Despite the weather, Holly's trying to be more positive after Emma's pep talk. There's no point in me, like, ruining this like experience of a lifetime just for being homesick because I'm gonna like go back on I so it'll be like gone before I know it. As the rain eases it's time to meet some vital members of the expedition. The camels that'll come with them across the desert. <laughs> they do snore, they do fart, they do make noises, they do admit Noxious fumes, it's just normal, okay? <laughs> They're camels. Don't open your mouth while I'm doing this, yeah? The team set about that's learning it. to handle them. That's it, yeah, now put that bit and that right over the head. That's it, my two eyes, my two eyes. Thank you. Let Chris do it. But unexpectedly, Chris, unexpectedly, Chris, has, a Chris has a real fear of the animals. You're not, you're not okay. Do you want to get eaten? <laughs> yeah, they've got a bit of a you know bad temper every now and then, but I promise you, if you do what we say and listen to these guys, you'll be fine. Janssen is in good form, isn't it? Should we get this watch his nose, yeah? With the local camel handler's help, he finally plucks up the courage. There you go, just mind his nose. There you go, and the other one. There you go. Yeah, he's done it. I liked him. I like this one. I like this one.
a bit embarrassed that I actually had a problem with it in the first place, but they are massive and quite scary things, but I'm glad I've got over it now. The next challenge is learning to hobble the camels, tying their legs to stop them wandering off. Because it looks kind of bad, I know what you're thinking, but it's actually the way they do it around here. That is what we're going to do now. I'm going to let you all have a quick go on that. <laughs> but the camels have other ideas. <laughs> Did you get on you? Go on, turn around, turn around. Just by your eye. He just spat his vomit. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just as they begin to tame the animals, desert training is halted yet again by torrential rain. You know, it's still unbelievable. It's the desert, it's raining. We're, we're cursed. It's called a desert because it's got less than 25 millimetres of rain a year and it's probably had about 25 millimetres of rain in an hour. Not exactly a desert, I don't think, anymore. And the weather's getting me down a bit, actually, because um, oh, I was expecting it to be hot so I could get a bit of a tan, but it's been raining all the time. <laughs> it's a nightmare. I'm looking on the bright side. That could be better. But I don't think it can get worse than this. It's the worst weather in the region for 30 years. It dampens us for it so much and it's really depressing. I swear we're going to have a flood. It's worse than what England can be like. Welcome to the boys' room. The boys' mud hut simply can't cope with the downpour. <laughs> this has got ten times worse here. Yeah. Look We've at that. Swimming pools. <laughs> They all take shelter in the girls' hut, which is holding up much better. So, is everyone cool? No. 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 The beauty of being here is you will dry out again. You will dry out again. That's what you said cool. last time. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to have everyone kipping in here tonight. Yeah. Woo! Everyone. Yeah. But it's going to be tough squeezing in all eight with their mosquito nets. There's not enough room actually to put anything down. And there's not enough room to tie these up because you're taking up like three quarters. The girls and boys are soon at loggerheads, especially Amy and David. It's a huge hut. It's Daenerys. Give it about 50 people on there, yeah? And they're not, and they're not cooperating. It's just a small hut and they just won't listen. We know the dimensions, we know how many people fit. But I still might not be enough room. Call it. I just can't get them to listen and they just, they know best. One there, one there, one there. Whoa, hey, hey, presto, it's done. And you put the bags in the middle. What are you doing? Seriously, it's, it's killing me. One, one two, two, three, four. three, four. Not one, two, three, four. <laughs> well, we're just going to come back in when they've done two. Fine, we'll set it up. Yeah. 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 Well, I just walked out because I've got a bit of a headache and I don't really want to stand in there and make it get, it get my head worse. I bet at the end of it they'll come in and go, oh, let's go to sleep now. Bedtime and the girls are in no rush to let the boys in. Are you ready yet? No, no, no. Oh, for goodness no. sake. That's been half an hour. Yeah, but can no one, like, stand on my bed? Can you not just put something on what? and then just get in? Oh, come in. Come on. David is desperate to get to sleep, but it's not going to be easy. I have my fleece right at the bottom. Guys, guys, can you keep it down here? got a really, really bad headache, yeah. I don't think people are being very considerate towards me. Martin would laugh and then promise would laugh and just keep going on. And then when it got silent for a minute, Perry would pass wind and then <laughs> it, everyone would just start laughing again and I just could not get to sleep. <laughs> I've really had enough of this. My head is stopping. Oh, crap. I'm just oh, you shut up. That's the honest truth. The next day dawns clear and sunny and very hot. It's better now because it's like we've got the sunshine, the weather we was actually we actually came here for. Time to carry on camel training, if they can get them on their feet. Up, uh, jeez, uh, 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 Make up more pronounced. Up, uh, up, uh, 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 u
The main desert expedition will last nearly a week and the six camels will carry all their supplies and water. Nobody will ride one except in an emergency, so the team need to start training for a marathon walk. We're not going far, we're just having a, a night out to practice, spending some time in the sand. The sort of thing that we're rehearsing for when we do our proper expedition at the end. It's only an hour long, but it's it is starting to cloud over a bit, so it'll be okay. I'm sweating just sitting down here, and I'm not doing anything, so imagine what it'd be like for an hour walk, just like in the desert. Oh, it's going to be boiling. <laughs> Guys are in the desert. Doesn't matter if you get wet feet. <laughs> the raging torrent they crossed when they arrived is now just a muddy stream. Oh! <laughs> On the main expedition, they'll be trekking for around eight hours a day, but just 15 minutes into the exercise, they need to stop. And have two seconds, sit down, because it'll only take, don't take anything off, just sit down for a sec. Okay, how are we feeling? Hot and tired. It is hot, isn't it? And we've only just been going a short, short while, and we've got to get ready to do this for days at a time, haven't we? Bruce is concerned that Holly's struggling badly. We've just got to go at the pace of the person who is, who is uh, either not feeling so good or who just wants to set a slower pace or whatever. Today it's Holly, and nobody's going to overtake. It's around 38 degrees in the shade, over 100 Fahrenheit, and walking on sand is exhausting. Seems like we've been like walking for an hour, and we're like nutted, and we can still see the camp. <laughs> so like we've been travelling for ages, but we haven't even gotten that far. It's. It's really hard. It's the heat that it can really drain you, and to keep in constant pace. And it's kind of scary thinking that we've got the, you know, a week of this. The whole walk is under three miles, but nearly everyone finds it extremely tough. Guess where we are? Here. <laughs> is this it? That's not too bad. Korea? <laughs> no, that was the sea. You. <laughs> Hot, wasn't it? little taste of what trekking in the desert's like. <sighs> my feet hurt a lot. I've got big blisters on the back of my feet. What you will be sleeping under for the whole of the trekking phase of the expedition is this. We haven't got tents because we haven't got the weight on the camels. So you've basically got this sheet of nylon. What if the wind blows a lot and all the sand gets in and we're trying to sleep? Then we get really sandy. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> They've got to dig the shelters into the side of the dune, but nobody has the energy. You've only got one peg in, and the girls have spent a long time getting two pegs in, and it's, we've only got an hour's left of daylight. It's been a disaster because we have practically haven't done anything because we still have to dig the hole for the toilet, put up the fire, cook the dinner, and we haven't done anything. Meanwhile, Holly's gone off to see the expedition nurse. Well, I got a, it, you can't see it very much, but I got a blister. Her constant problems are starting to irritate Ellie. I think a lot of people have been feeling sick, but we just, to be honest, we just don't complain or moan as much as she does. It's just a bit of a rude thing to say, but I still, still love her really. Every girl got like stressed out. It sounded like they was ignoring me, and then today, just a minute ago, I had a blister and I had that plaster on it, and then everyone's going, "Oh, you're going to chip in now." We haven't sorted out everything, and I think it's actually going to rain, and everything's going to get wet again, like yesterday. And yesterday it felt so mucky. But for once, the rain stays away, and as the camp finally comes together, spirits start to lift. Oh, 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 oh. Where is it? Where it, is it? Rice, beetle, and <laughs> hugger, hugger, hugger. Come on. Do, it, do, it, do it and huggy. Little clap. Come on. It's just great to see them in such a good mood this evening. They're, they really are on a high, which is great. Um, they've, they've done marvels. They've put up the tents, they've lit the fire. It's a full moon out, so it's absolutely bright, and you can see all the stars here. Uh, 
it's so it's just amazing here today. So but there are hidden dangers. They're camping in the heart of the wild animals' territory. The truth is that just beyond the limit of light here, there's things watching us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this time it's only a grasshopper. <laughs> it's unlikely larger creatures will come into the camp while there's activity around the fire, but doing video diaries still feels pretty lonely. It's really scary. It's like I know them lot are just down there, but it's really scary. You might think that something can just come down behind you. I hope I hear something. Hello? Okay, what is that? There's something there. Matt! 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 It's not funny! What is it? I think there might be something behind that bush. <laughs> I don't know, but it, I couldn't see, but something just like went across. I nearly had a heart attack. Now I'm going now. I'm just gonna... To stop animals coming into the camp during the night, they'll all have to get up and take a turn by the fire. You'll all have to just do an hour each, so that we have the fire, which is the biggest deterrent of all, stoked and going all night long. In a minute, I'm going to get you to decide amongst yourselves who's going to go at which hour. Yeah? I'll go first. And we're going to get up. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll that might be the case. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> For each sentry duty, they're joined by one of the leadership team. I just saw two eyes, and I think it was something quite small, like a fox. Holly! The night is long and tiring, but the animals stay away. Right, guys, it's 26. We've got lots to do today. We want to do it before the heat. It was brilliant. Best it was waking up to do my duties, and then I'd done it so I could see the sunrise. Fine up until I got up and done my centurion duty, and then I got back in. and. It started dripping water, so I've been asleep for about 20 minutes. I only got a few hours sleep. I'm feeling the effects nice. The sand does get everywhere, which is really not very nice, and we all stink like completely. They're looking forward to getting back quickly to main base camp, but Emma has a bit of a bombshell. Right, we're gonna we're gonna pack away as soon as possible because we're going to go on not exactly a trek, but a pretty hard walk. Oh. Two to four hours. Two to four hours. And that's not the half of it. To push them even harder, the team will also have to climb a mountain along the way. After last night's epic, um, there, there were bits of Jude this morning, it's got to be said. But the truth is, they've got to pick up the pace and be able to cope with what we're throwing at them at the end. I just I'm a bit worried because I found the hour trek yesterday quite hard. It's going to be really hard. I'm actually dreading it. Next time on Serious Desert, emergency on the mountain. You're doing really well there, mate. Tracking a two-ton rhino. <laughs> and lunch, survival style. Yeah! <laughs>